আসসালামু আলাইকুম সুপ্রিয় দর্শক আপনাদের অনেক শুভেচ্ছা অভিনন্দন আজকের প্রোগ্রাম পলিটিক্স এন্ড বিয়ন্ডে আছি আমি এস এম আজম আপনারা যারা আমাদের প্রোগ্রাম প্রতিনিয়ত দেখে থাকেন তাদের অনেক ধন্যবাদ আর যারা নতুন আজকে আমাদের প্রোগ্রামে তাদের অবগতির জন্য বলা হচ্ছে আজকে আসলে আমাদের যে প্রোগ্রামটা হয় এটা পলিটিক্স পলিসি পিপল অ্যান্ড অবভিয়াসলি পলিটিশিয়ান্স ইনভলভ দে উইল বি হিয়ার সো ইটস এ গুড অপরচুনিটি ফর আস অ্যাজ অর্ডিনারি পিপল উই ক্যান কন্ট্রিবিউট হিয়ার অ্যান্ড উই ক্যান শেয়ার আওয়ার আইডিয়া থটস অ্যান্ড উই ক্যান মেক ইট বেটার ফর আওয়ার বোথ সাইড আর সেটাকে লক্ষ্য রেখি আজকে আমরা কিছু গেস্ট নিয়ে এসেছি আর সেখানে আমাদের যদি আমি পরিচয় করে দিতে চাই আমার যে প্রথম গেস্ট আছে ফার্স্ট হাফ ওয়াল বিফোর স্টার্টিং দ্য প্রোগ্রাম আই উড লাইক টু ইনফর ওয়ান থিং উই নিড টু রান দিস প্রোগ্রাম থ্রু দ্য বেঙ্গলি অ্যান্ড ইংলিশ অবভিয়াসলি উই গোট এ গেস্ট শি ক্যান নট স্পিক বেঙ্গলি সো ভেরি মাইন্ড অ্যান্ড ইফ আই উড লাইক টু ইন্ট্রোডিউস মাই ফার্স্ট গেস্ট ফ্রম রাইট সাইড দিস ইজ আওয়ার জনাল মোহাম্মদ জানাল he is the chairman of uh, cfob westminster city council how are you mr janal thank you very much thank you very much to come here and obviously it's my immediate right uh, councillor uh, lindsay hall councillor lindsay hall um, yeah. she is a prospective member of parliament uh, from westminster north how are you today i'm very good thank you thank uh, you azam for inviting uh, me onto the program it's, it's, it's delighted our pleasure. to be here it's our pleasure to invite you here thank you very much and immediate left uh, well i don't think i need to introduce new uh, the gentleman he is very well known to our community he is the only only conservative councillor in salisbury council and his name is mr article hak uh, councillor article hak thank you brother how are you today alhamdulillah very well thank you for uh, inviting me it's, it's our pleasure to invite you uh, you here Uh, before starting this program today, as you know, uh, our viewers, we, every week we draw a quiz. And last week's quiz, I would like to, uh, well, I would like to request uh, Lindsay, if you can declare this our winner name. Last week's quiz, yeah, please. Last week's quiz was, when was the first local, uh, 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 sorry, uh, excuse me, uh, where did Batford get its name? That was actually both combination of Roman chief and Ford. And uh, if and you can. And the winner is Akbar Ali from Wapping. From Wapping, all oh, right. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lindsay. Uh, and Mr. Akbar Ali, thank you very much for your contribution. And hopefully, right time you will get your uh, prize. And uh, thank you very much again, viewers. Uh, you can contribute again, uh, like last week, how you did. Uh, this week's quiz will be when was the first local election held in westminster city council obviously we got a uh, prospective mp from council, uh, westminster not just uh, we 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 kept a, a quiz uh, related to council uh, westminster council and there is a three answer actually you can see just a uh, uh, bottom of the tv corner uh, 1962 1963 1964 definitely one will be their answer and you can uh, send your uh, answer to pnb at channel i europe dot tv and thank you i'm sure uh, someone will send right answer and uh, we will uh, uh, declare the name uh, next program well uh, now i'd like to go to our main program actually this is our political opinion as uh, who were uh, new in the uh, show today uh, if i start with lindsay uh, this is any news it could be political local national anything that bring your attention and you can share with our viewer please okay. Well, it could hardly escape anyone's attention that we are about to uh, face the biggest um, decision to be taken in our country in, in, in five years, which is the general election on May the 7th. Um, it is, and it is billed as probably the most pivotal decision facing our country, um, certainly of this century. Um, and it will dictate the outcome, um, certainly for Britain, economically, uh, over the course of, the, uh, uh, for, for, you know, for, for a long time to come. And obviously I'm here as a um, parliamentary candidate selected by the Conservative Party. So I, ha I have, a, for, for Westminster North, the constituency of Westminster North, where we have a population of approximately 4,000 Bengalis. So um, a very significant voter base for us um, and very important to us and one that I've recently really enjoyed getting to know. And um, right. thanks to Mr. Janal here, actually, um, I was <laughs> a 
filmed dancing at one of your lovely parties. All right. I went out, went out to the nation. So, um, you know, obviously politics is my main thing. I'm very serious, but I do love to dance. All right. That's As great. indeed, I've yeah. discovered so do the Bengalis. So All right. I think we have a lot in common. Okay, that's pretty good. As you <laughs> said, uh, Lindsay, uh, I'm sure uh, election is very important, not only this time, uh, all the time, because that will um, give power to run the country, whichever party is. Why this is pivotal, or why this is so important this time, do you think? Well, um, as um, people who watch the news will know that there's, there's, there's a lot of toing and froing between the two main parties, Labour and Conservative. But when we came to power in 2010, after 13 years of a Labour government, we inherited an economic catastrophe. Of course, we'd had the financial crash. But underpinning that were years and years of overspending and some very poor decision-making, poor legislation that underpinned, if you like, a perfect storm. And who can forget um, the Treasury Minister, Liam Byrne, and his outgoing message in the Treasury to the country was, good luck, there's nothing left. <laughs> so we've come from a place of um, really facing into, into an abyss. And whilst the rest of Europe um, is struggling to recover from Cold that. Situation, yeah. um, I'm absolutely really proud to say that with good governance and, you know, we've been in coalition, we haven't had a Conservative majority, but in spite of that, we have managed to take our country to a place where now we are the envy of the rest of the world. The OECD, Barack Obama, all of them are complementing what we have done for our economy We've right. slashed unemployment by, by nearly two million now. Thank We've you, uh, thank you, Lindsay. I know, I know you, you will, you will build up your own success and yes. all of this thing. I yeah. will come definitely. I will come okay. with this, all of this issue. Um, and as you say, election. I definitely, I will have some uh, something to ask about election. It's not only two party this uh, this time. If I go to you, uh, Mr. Janal, uh, uh, do you have any any news or anything that uh, it could be community related? It could be uh, local, national, anything that bring your attention, General Bai. Um Yes, um, a, a few days ago I've seen news uh, about the three uh, Bangladeshi um, girls who, was, who went to Syria um, in support of IS, which is unfortunate. Um, I wonder that is, is um, what makes them to go there. And these are the children there from um, secondary school. Yes, as um, and there should be something that the school should do about it, and they should have some security measures to in place uh, to secure uh, the future uh, uh, movement by but the children. Well, is it you thought that only school is responsible? Who um, are the parties are involved of here? Course, Not uh, there, there, there is an issue. Um, of course. Uh, Parents Lots of stakeholders here. That there, there are parents are there. There is also a community-related issue. There are a lot of uh, uh, there State should be mechanisms. more yep. uh, facilities uh, which will um, uh, secure uh, some activities for the younger generation, which will uh, move them from these sort of activities. Which it seems to me. Um, is very few in our communities. So yeah, it is actually. It is shocking news. Obviously, it's, uh, these uh, uh, very young girls, and um, mm -hmm. they take a decision. I mean, well, it's a really, really shocking thing how they did it. And uh, well, uh, with due respect, as you said, it's not only school; it's uh, parents and community and the states and all of this. Of course, uh, yes. But um, it's, I think it's, it's, it's a big failure by everyone. I think we need to think about this and we need to um, think thoroughly um, and come up with some sort of um, uh, solution between all of us, parents, schools, communities. We all have responsibilities and we must do something about it. This was a wake-up call for our community, especially? Of course, it is a wake-up call, yes. Because uh, a long time we are uh, blaming each other. Well, the uh, state is not doing their uh, responsibility. Schools are not playing their role at the same time. Parents are on the other side. The state is telling, well, community needs to come out. Obviously, government, they cannot play their alone. It needs to come all together. Of course, so yes. uh, it's a big issue. That's fine. Um, uh, General Vice, a very uh, burning issue for our community right now. And um, mm -hmm. fortunately, we are living mm -hmm. in the same borough. Um, uh, our uh, 
uh, the uh, studio is in Tower Hamlets and yeah. three girls from Tower Hamlets. And if I come to Atik Bhai, tell me some story that you can share with people. And uh, obviously, General Bhai and Lindsay were sharing and all of this. So, First, do you thank have you for inviting me and uh, uh, to all the people who just tuned in to watch us. Um, well, what General Bhai has touched, I will, I will not go on that at the moment. It is a burning issue and it is a concern for a lot of people. But however, um, the Conservative Party, I will say, as it's a, a political and beyond, what Conservative is doing and what con Conservative is trying to highlight overall. Um, I'm sure you've heard in the last two days, um, the Prime Minister has tried to introduce another extra 200 schools when we're talking about education. It is important uh, and we well, should... It's nice to hear, but uh, again, uh, 200 is school, all right, go on. I think um, th you, you'll always get negative and pos uh, positive. Mm -hmm. And um, just before I say this, I will try to speak in Bengali. Okay, that's fine. Sure, uh, yeah. As long as you don't mind, uh, you know, the Bengali the the thing is, um, the 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 thing is, um, it is important when it comes to education. I don't think anybody should object. Oh, there shouldn't be more school. There should be other ways. And I'm sure you'd hear the Labour Party will try to say there are other ways. My my simple question is. If there is other ways, you are welcome to highlight that and show us or tell us that look, uh, uh, having another 200 school will not benefit and uh, this is the way to go forward. Yep. So there are there is going to be pros and cons, but what I'd like to say when it comes to education, mm -hmm. we should be high, uh, back our Prime Minister decision yep. and I think it's a good idea and even for a lot of the uh, uh, problems, it will be solved for the parents. Like I for one, sometimes I have um, children who have to have uh, a distance. I have to take them to a very distant school because there are limited school available. So if there is extra one or two school, it will mean a lot to a lot of people. But again, as you said, as 200, uh, Prime Minister said that he will uh, allow to go or he will help to build up 200 schools. That's a free school. Mm -hmm. And there is lots of controversy, as you know, other part of the country. Uh, there was a lot of uh, news came. Mm -hmm. There is a lack of regulations and, uh, and um, the funding, abusing, or, or, or mm -hmm. sorts of extremism and all of these sorts of things. Yeah. I mean, so Af how are you going to control yeah. How are you going to defend this? What are you going to do is difficult to run a free school. What are you going to do? Ilan jodi namda sinta kori, e e sinta luya jinta kiti to under the bobishyo thor je school or je project more je apne je shikata dita. Ita to apne isolate kori na. Zela noy na hane apne you have to find a way to accommodate those school for the young generation. Free school or kabla free school ila jodi government te afford korto pare na, for instance. That doesn't mean that we we shouldn't be doing this. Ita khora door khara se amna ba chain to lagi. School within Bolan school or Oleg Maba for Kubi Shajo. How much successful this uh, free school uh, idea? Obviously, it's, it's uh, Michael Gove. Actually, he started all of this idea and everything. And unfortunately, he's not there. Someone is uh, running the education department. And how much successful do you think this one? Uh, well, I'm sure what I will do is I, I think we will that. leave to our um, right. <laughs> constituents MP what is your to say What this? is your opinion about this uh, uh, 200 free school? Uh, well, I think, it's, Prime I think Minister it is absolutely excellent news, and I think we must give Michael Grove credit for what he has done for our education um, in, in, in a short period of time. Um, we have turned, he's turned it round and put rigour back into the system. And I think for, for me personally, I mean, the, the United Kingdom has possibly the best education system in the world to which the world's great and good and, and super rich send their children, and that's our private schooling system. Yeah. My ambition is to replicate that in the state system. And I think that the provision of, of the free schools is exactly that, because actually, in the end, it's the parents who demand, who, who push. A, a, a sinking school will, will, will disappear because parents won't send their children there. So if you like, it's a sort of the market will almost dictate. Now, I do accept that, you know, we have had some failures, and mm. of course, it's quite a new idea. concept and mm -hmm. an idea. So always with the new ideas, you know, you've got to test it to make sure it works properly. You've got to have a safety net. I think Ofsted um, ha is doing a very good job. Um, I'm actually school governor myself right. in Westminster North. Mm -hmm. um, and I've actually witnessed um, a huge transformation in the state system, which I, of course I would, I'm conservative, but I do attribute to putting back good core conservative values back into our state system. 
We've now got to a place where I'm really proud of the record in Westminster. It's, we're ahead of the national league tables. All right. um, we've put back rigour into the system, a policy of strict uniform. Because it is a blue area. No. Well, it's not. I'm, well, I'm fighting in a, in, a, in a red seat. I know. Well, but uh, um, although we are a very strong Conservative council, yeah. we have been able, and of course it's, it's never easy when you have a Labour incumbent government yeah. to work with, but since we've had the coalition, we've been able to drive through, and the statistics are now borne out. If you take King Solomon Academy, for instance, mm -hmm. um, in Church Street, where we had the highest percentage of children on, um, on free school meals, we achieved 94% A's to C at GCSE. Oh, no. That's very good. One of the best in the Everybody country. Everybody would like to love to see this uh, result. Um, uh, yeah. Sorry, Lindsay, I got constrained. Time. Of course. Time is the essence. Well, I'm sorry, I can't speak Bengali. No, that's fine. I need to get back I will to come back to you. <laughs> um, and, and, and you brought up very good points and, and the party issues and elections. Shupri Roshan, we will come back after a very short break. <laughs> We are back to our program. Uh, before starting this, uh, this segment, uh, I would like to remind you again, uh, this week quiz, when was the first local election held in Westminster City Council? Is it in 1962, 1963 or 1964? Please send your answer to the pnb at channel this, this segment actually we kept deliberately obviously manifest to watch what promises done by parties. Uh, as you know, no party declared their uh, manifesto yet. I'm sure they are coming, but we are recording their uh, promises, and and that's as as usual they do. You know, all politicians and their party machines, they are very busy with their promises, and they want to win. Winning is always nice, and they want to rule our country for next five years. So it is our responsibility as ordinary people. We will give mandate who can work for us, who will understand. Sometimes they fail to understand, but we know what is our issues and what is the matter to us. We know job, education, housing, NHS, immigration, taxes and economy, Europe issues, order, benefits and poverty. So these are the issues, is a vital issue for us. I would like to ask uh, today our, obviously, main guest, uh, guest she is running uh, in Westminster North. Lindsay, if I start with you, as you know, politics is policy and politicians, they do lots of um, promises when election mm -hmm. come, as your yeah. first segment you said, it's very important election generations. Your party actually, just I have seen your headline, a strong leadership, a clear economic plan, a better, more secure future, competence versus chaos. What does it mean to ordinary people? They want to understand actually what, do you, what well, do you mean that? As a conservative, and I don't think that we're always terribly good at um, imparting our philosophy, but we're a very pragmatic party. And it's quite simple. I don't believe there is a politician alive who doesn't want to have good, a good NHS, good education, good housing, safe streets, all of those things. But you have to have the money to pay for them. And if you like, what we've been able to do is to take ourselves from a place five years ago where we, we were in such debt we were, our deficit, we were spending so much more than we were taking in. The fact is, no country has ever collected more than 37% of gross domestic product, GDP, in taxation. By 2010, we were spending 50%. That's the deficit. Now, that's a huge amount of money. It's no different to any family putting everything on a credit card and then waking up to the fact you can't pay that credit card back. That's what debt um, does to families, and it has never helped anyone, and it certainly doesn't help the poor to bankrupt the country's economy. So, so we're back to a place now where we've, we, we've got nearly 2 million less, uh, less people on Job Seekers Allowance now in proper jobs. In the end, work is the great, um, it, it is the cure. Um, parking people on benefits and, and, and being unproductive 
is no way to prosperity. So for us, it is all about economic competence. It's about creating a healthy economy, a good place to run a business, a good reason to go to work, because for too long, people have actually decided that it's easier to stay at home and be on benefits. That um, never helped that's anyone. I will ask you, that's a, that's a very important, I will come definitely to welfare issues. So as you said, this economy is very important, it's the backbone of any country. Absolutely. Without good economy, you cannot do whatever you want, and you can make hundreds of promises to the ordinary people, and you cannot deliver. Well, but I'll tell you, as you said uh, mm -hmm. just a little bit earlier, politicians don't tell, tell a lie. I'm not telling they tell a lie, but they do promise, but they fail to fulfill their promise. I'll give you example one. Your chancellor, uh, Mr. Osborne, in 2010, he said he will do lots of things. He promises um, deficit will go down, debt will be zero, all sorts of they, they yep. fail to do that. No, so the facts are we've how, halved the deficit. Okay, how people That's will trust fact. again he can deliver okay. for the people of well, the United what Kingdom? What I say to people is you must judge us on our record, on the facts. We've halved the deficit since then. We will be back to a position of running a, a, a surplus if we stay on course now, and that's the place any country needs to be. We've also um, taken a lot of people who are unemployed, nearly two million people back into work. We've become the model. I mean, if, if, if you want to, we, and I know we're going to discuss immigration, but if there is a reason why everyone wants to come to this country, it's because this is the place of prosperity now. This is because of our economic plan. Thank you, Lucy. You brought up a couple of very good points. I will come back to you. Yeah. If I ask you, John Albay, uh, obviously you were living in Westminster not, and you were involved with this. Uh, what is the, what is the uh, opinion of our Bengali community or minority people, how they are thinking. As you say, uh, Lindsay was telling very nice uh, economic uh, uh, success story. Uh, how do people are feeling? And obviously she brought a couple of points about welfare and, and, and benefit system. How people are thinking in Westminster North from our community? In, if I um, talk about our community perspective, yeah. um, for instance myself, I'm You're a local businessman? Uh, I'm a local businessman, of course, but uh, mm. uh, the lot of people up there, the which a uh, lot of people are, uh, they are depending on some sort of meaning benefits. All right. Okay, so uh, that is the concern um, there. But uh, also, um, people are uh, talking about the benefit cap. Yeah. This is actually as it is starting to clear her on now. Okay. Benefit caps in Mr. Kit. Explain to our viewer, please, okay. how people are thinking. Okay. So benefit caps in Mr. Zeta Zeta, I mean, actually, uh, I mean, I'll share with the Lindsay to um, give us a clear view about the benefit cap. What is benefit cap and what is uh, we will get out of it. And also um, give us some, some idea. So uh, when we. Um, what community, say, Amadar Bangali community, mm -hmm. that are, uh, uh, how they are taking this on? It's benefit cap, you said. You cannot yeah, go 23,000 more than 24,000. Once you come next government, you are making 22,000. How are people going to run life their life? This is and the, Lindsay this brought is a very good point. Of course. Benefit is not the way of life. Of course. This is so that is a balance approach. Of course. Um, this is the what, again, we'll have to think, actually. Uh, we all have to think ourselves. We'll have to come out. We'll How you want to we'll lead your to come life? Out. What it is, is we, um, you see, Amra, Amra Bengali, Amra Zara Bangla, just the case. Mm -hmm. Originally, Amra Kintu, way of life, it's a conservatism. It's conservative. Okay. So conservative is in our car. car. So, um, but we, we, we do not think that. We'll have to think and we'll have to come out of this uh, Idea. ideas okay. and um, sorry. That's fine, General. Thank you. Can yeah. I add quickly to that? Yeah, I mean, please. Yeah. One of the things that I've, I've come to know about the, uh, the Bangladeshi people is that, you know, you're aspirational and you're incredibly hardworking, and your country is on the cusp of becoming, um, you know, one of the the big eleven. Economies. Yeah, that's called N11. Yeah. So, so it's in your DNA. You're, you're grafters. You work. You're aspirational. And, you know, I don't believe that all those people who left their homeland to come to our country 
did it to spend a life just waiting for things to fall out of the sky for them. And, and I, I've seen and I know how hard you work. And I think the dignity of work um, is, you know, what is, is right. Um, and of course, the other thing is, we, you know, in order to have really good services, we are a compassionate society, very tolerant society. Mm -hmm. We have a safety net there, net there. So if when people are on hard, hard times or if they are struggling, we will provide. <coughs> but you've got to have the money there to do that. And the way to do that is to ensure that it always pays to work and that um, people are reaching for the stars. I mean, who would want to stay parked in, in, in one place for the rest of their life? I think that's miserable. Yes, fine. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, uh, General Bhai. If I come to Councillor Atik, so I the Bengali community has said, the benefit cap, the way of life, it's not the way how we want to do. What is your opinion? How your party, uh, they're doing it? They're, because as you know, benefit cap, it was uh, 24,000, I believe. So far, I am not wrong. If you come to next government, you are going to make 22,000. So the people of our community, how are they thinking this? I'm not government to talk about it. Bishash Khori, I've never heard of this. Judge got to be a hammer belay. Great Britain and Bortoman is the hammer sector that are fulfilled. Is it combined as the Europe mila yo? What are the hammer do is it? Are do not you of course are do number the national governor of the Akita for sure about it. O government a doshazar agadori loka asil pa atazar no other pound asil. A blush had a doshazar pound for the top neck claim for a ruzi hot tower bar and you don't pay a tax on it. Any mm -hmm. is up to ten thousand uh, about five hundred. Next election, I think you know, 12, it's going to be twelve thousand. So who's, who, uh, the government wants you to keep your money, and also when it comes to God, the Warbi Sharia, government upfront chesta korer the amra Bengali community, khali Bengali community, overall show board first time buyer lagi the facility bovishote the war. Ita to shampullo conservative party the war. Ani aro lagi afnar ozen benefit cap. Benefit cap or ita to ami fura afnar kita khora hoyto na zagat fura moto judge khora hoyse na. Jaso bisha daro ibo na baisha daro ibo. Can go maximum, mm. actually. You can claim maximum. Mm. That's that's government are selling. It so the, yeah. the point is, as as Lindsay was <coughs> telling us, uh, is is especially our community. We got a value actually. The value actually we got aspiration. <coughs> We're hardworking people. Can we move forward our life? Can we get out from this uh, that so-called safety net or the way of life? Lindsay so which one are you supporting? Yeah. How are you gonna? Uh, what, justify for our community. Yeah. What Lindsay and what also journal by Zeta Khoisun. Lindsay and Zeta Khoisun actually cook shundor dinish. Shundor dinish, I'm the Bangladesh take IC, I'm the only Bangladesh take IA, I'm the Buisina, I'm the Zelan for Ivan Hosto Horsi, the land for Ivan under Momuru Biokle Hosto Hori, I'm the Zepo Jay Anchun. Nani, I am not Manita Kitulu Gamda, Bobishote Aguibalagi. Our journal by Zeta Hula conservative or shop show Mainta Luluga Manus Aguito. Manus Fistona. Labor is saying go back to your uh, labor, <laughs> labor, labor, labor philosophy is within the This is my personal opinion. I see. As a businessman, as a businessman, as a businessman, I'm the Bangladeshi, I'm the Bangladeshi, I'm the shop shomoy, Hosto Horia, I see, Hosto Horia, I'm the Otohanzagat Aguesi. Idar mani na amra jo khali khore di dekhi, ami thori lokha zeriya taki, ami area wale taki majority labour supporter. Ami the labour supporter hoy kitha thara khoto iloge thara hard worker, hard work khorar baade thara social club or baade gya thara right spend khoriya dat khali bo, beer khali bo, baador din thara rajen bo bishoto rehta pori kono pona ida thara nai. Ito iloge afnar afne pray labour or dekhane philosophy ta holan. The ida to ida lagi to afne ami khosto khoram na. Amra bo bishoto projon more afne saira arya to highlight hota. A labour hota zagat matushe. Nai ni. If ida prosto do iloge zay labour or nekhme shi amra kitha lagi labour board di thamna. If you are labor or boot, if you are labor, you labor. If you are a labor, you are a labor. If you are a labor, you are a labor. The majority part of the uh, labor boards from the north. This year is going to be a. If you are a member of the Bangladeshi community, if you are a member of the Bangladeshi community, if you are a member of the Bangladeshi community, if you are a member of the Bangladeshi community, if you are a member of the Bangladeshi community, if you are a SMP Kunush Moy Amdar 
সাউথ সাইডের বালাই সাইটো নাই তারা সাইব স্কটল্যান্ডে তারা উচ্চ হত ওয়াল দে ওয়ান্ট টু অলদো উই হ্যাভ এ ক্যান্ডিডেট হিয়ার হুইচ আই এম শিউর শি ক্যান ক্লারিফাই দ্যাট দিস ইয়ার দ্য ভোট and smp's uh, smp I, I, i i'm sorry to say correct me if i'm wrong but they will never look at the best interest for england they will always want to look for the best interest for their party they will take the resource from england so this is another thing which i urge everyone to uh, before you go to vote uh, labor everybody suppose labor everybody suppose conservative is but you have to go to actually who you voting and what they are going to what do what are the consequences for next what's the consequences because the labor this year i think is a bit of a shamble because they really don't know how to recoup and it's going to be a, it's going to be a problem it's very good point uh, mr artik councilor artik um, lindsay as you said i think earlier part of our conversation and and um, the councilor artik actually he brought a very good point it's not any more labor and conservative fight i think it's fight yeah. with someone else some 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 what more parties it? involved obviously mr nigel for us yeah. he was um, he is uh, jumping on the uh, uh, ship and yeah. uh, he is expecting to go to after 16 or the 14 15 16 years uh, in europe to westminster at the same time mr alex simon he has a dream as well he, he is jumping dream. over there so how are you going to balance this and mm. especially as your seat is very sort of marginal seat in in yes. in london is is how people will balance well, up this thing it's one of the reasons why um going to the polls and actually being sh being sure to vote is is critically important um i mean you know we we say are saying is vote ed and get alex salmon um that that will be the consequence and um you know this is the party that wants to break up the united kingdom um extraordinarily they're still polling so strongly in in Scotland but that's partly to do with the chaos that labor are currently in at Miliband but Mr um, Miliband uh, jump over one of the conferences and yeah. quite extraordinarily um, um David Cameron is polling whilst people may not like the conservative brand they are liking David Cameron and he has a much bigger reach um in the north of the country um obviously we we sadly um you know i think it's a historical cultural hatred of our party which um does is nonsensical and i certainly know a lot of scottish people myself who fought desperately to against the break up of, of okay. scotland and you know uh, and and thankfully the united kingdom stayed together but um you know we do have these fringe parties lurking there who are going to be calling the shots so really what i say to people is you know be very clear about this you know if if europe is your issue if you want to have a say on that there's only one party is going to give you that there's only one party that can guarantee the united kingdom won't break up and that's us because you know a vote for ed miliband is going to be effectively a vote for the back door by nicholas sturge and alex salmon and the smp well uh, obviously no one is here to defend uh, their self as you said no. uh, that's <laughs> fine uh, maybe someone will come next week and they will defend their self um if i would like to touch a little bit on europe issue obviously it's a very yeah. important issue as you know nigel for us he's only one issue it's the main issue is europe yeah. and yeah. he's going to make it change uh conventionally you know sub sort of though i don't like personally is word is called um, working class yeah. i mean where is working class white background or these people they they used to vote for conservative or labor but they are going well it they is are going to uh, yes. show their uh, back um, now and um, they are heading to mr Go, well mr mr farage um has a few good lines on things that people want to hear but there's a there's a the huge uh, difference between um sitting on the sidelines throwing stones hmm. and actually leading government and running government yeah. within the confines of the law um i mean that's a very different thing um nigel farage you know there are some things i i i have sympathy with um uh, and we have um under, undergone a huge change um in the in the physical makeup of our country and i think a lot of british people do feel a loss of control now the thing is that um you know the eu in, in 2004 labor opted out of the controls that we could have had then they made that decision so 
if you like, you know, we've inherited, inherited the consequences of some sort of very poor decision making by the uh, previous government. Yeah, that's, I know that's the one thing as what you were trying to say, Lindsay. Yeah. Um, as obviously your party, they said that if they come to power in 2017, they will give a referendum. Well, absolutely. And, I, I, and, and the point If you allow me to stop a little bit, I would like to add a little bit. Um, today, sorry, Mr. Brown, go to Brown. Yeah, Brown. He said, Good leaving the Brown. European uh, <laughs> Union would make Britain the North Korea of Europe. Few friends, no influence. Is it well, right? Um, I. All right, I'll come to you. That's yes, fine. Yeah, um, that um, it would be a foolish politician to ignore what's happening in Europe. Um, we've got the rise of the far right. Um, there is um, a sense of loss of identity for many, many people. I actually believe that David Cameron is exactly right to, um, and he's been very brave and he's leading the way on behalf of another of other European countries, by the way, who agree mm. with him, that, you know, the, the, the Brussels has overstepped the mark. I mean, there, we've lost our sovereignty, our ability to control our, our borders, the security, the, you know, the first... Um, first priority of any government is security and if you lose this, uh, the ability to, to keep your country secure well you know the governance first and foremost is, thing is, for any prime minister, for any prime minister. Party, yeah. so number one you know and I, and I think that you know there are sympathetic ears in Europe he has a, a very good chance of renegotiating some of some of the losses of powers and I believe that you know when we have the mandate from the British people we will then absolutely get those powers back and then we give them the choice based on a redrawn agreement for my part i didn't want to leave europe actually um i'm i come from a small business um we trade in europe i can see the advantages of it you know big japanese car firms hmm. come to europe because they want access to the european market yep. you know we're not going to we don't want to lose all those jobs however we cannot continue down this sort of um, the, the path that we're going, and, and you know, on a sort of smaller level, I don't want to be told by Europe what hair dryer to use, or you know, I, that sort of day-to-day -day meddling is so infuriating. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I daily life. Mr. If I come to, narrative. yeah, that's fine. If I come to Mr. Um, the Councillor Artig, actually, Lindsay was telling um, European Union she support to stay with that, but your party line is they said. We'll give a referendum. I will, I will go back what, to what, what, you... what people are thinking. I'll mm. tell you one thing. What she said, mm. um, uh, Mr. Cameron actually, he's uh, he is sort of playing with this people's um, opinion because he knows if he doesn't if he doesn't become um, strong with the uh, the European issues, you are losing your vote to UKIP. What is well, your uh, well, difference? My, uh, just before I come to my view, you say mm. about um, Gordon Brown. Yes. Yeah. I'm surprised Gordon Brown is actually mentioning anything, you know, because <laughs> the position he left Labour is going to be very difficult to climb back. But what you have to understand is, is that Gordon Brown is a hand hoi as a Europe and other item now. It is a halito hoi lo ito nai. Zesa ya party ahta zinish hoi lo. Conservative kita hore manushe they giving the opportunity to the people that you make the decision. Do we stay with Europe or don't we stay with Europe? Ahta prime minister do zidin ita hoi lo. So he's not making a decision. He's not, he left it to us to make that decision. No other parties has mentioned that. They can always say, oh, we are leaving. Who said conservatives saying we are leaving? He is actually giving you a referendum, giving you the opportunity. And of course, I totally agree with uh, Lindsay here. It will be foolish to leave uh, European uh, uh, countries because when it comes to the business sector. Is it your personal opinion? my personal okay. opinion and i think uh, I, I would say uh, for a lot of people will have the very similar view but again you are saying about nigel farage nigel farage for me you know it might be hard is a bit of an opportunist you know he's saying he's a he's a nice person a big governor she's saying the right thing at the right time what people wants to hear <laughs> you know but can he fulfill the thing i doubt it the land Amda Amda on a show busy, the Amda Zudin conservative the boot day, the Amda be the show holder and Natara Bon Horilibo. Nani, the Afne English holder to the Afne Zika in English, Kitalagi, you could be boot divo, Ami of Narehoi, Haran Zagat, Ami Zagarma de Asse, Shompuno Loga English. English of Natara Buzer, the Nigel Fraje, Tar Bashai Matbo, He Tar Manushe Debo, Aro Manushe Suzukitone. Nani Elagi the Honda Amda Bangalim and Shabad the Honda Yukupon Namule, bad lagi. Kita lagi bad lagi, zaman dah buzi zee, you know, we gonna stop 
um, uh, other people's yeah. coming in. But it's not. It's not. Kunu Shomoy Conservative Party shop Shomoy Shuzuk Dise. Shop Shomoy. I'm not Kun Kun Oshubi Darma. I'm not Bengali for Lam. Or that's how they hate. They hate it too. All right. That's fine. Um, if I come to uh, Mr. Janal, um, what is your opinion? How people are uh, thinking in in Westminster North? Say Bengali people. Um, Tara Kita Kote Se Se. What's your opinion? Ki European Union. Because if you open in quite lots of uh, immigration issue will come, uh, EU and non-EU, all the issues in uh, obviously our community, they think lots. So how they how they're thinking? Actually, um, we we'll all have to think about uh, the country we are living in. So, amra asole European Union o takhle amra kitha labui, barole kitha labui. Igula issue kintu discuss or. But if you ask me my personal opinion, I would say, I'll back um, uh, David Cameron, what he said, and that would be a good idea. Time, I'm opinion, sir. He's asking for a referendum, which will happen. Okay. So he will take our opinion, and then he will decide what to do. So we can't sort of say anything or ignore anything. We'll have to wait and see. All right, uh, Lindsay and General Vai and Atik Vai. Again, time is uh, really constrained all the time. I would like to talk quite lots of uh, issues, but we don't have sufficient time. Maybe we can carry on next uh, uh, segment. Shubhya Doshak, We are coming back after a very short break. <laughs> We are now our uh, program's third segment. This is the last segment. Um, uh, we will continue. Uh, this segment topics will be Lindsay Hall and the people of Westminster North, actually, who is uh, where she is representing. And before starting this program, I would like to remind you again, uh, this week quiz. Uh, quiz will be... Uh, when was the first local uh, election held in Westminster City Council? In 1962, 1963, or 1964? Please send your answer, pnb at channel i um, If I start up, obviously, Lindsay, very much, uh, we are very happy to get you here. Um, Thank you. We, we kept this uh, uh, segment, uh, you and your people in Westminster North. If people want to know actually who is Lindsay Hall and why do you think um, Lindsay's voice is stronger than your people, uh, your popular MP Karen Buck? Actually, she is, I think, a couple of times there. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, well, um, what to say about that? I'm uh, a mother of three. I've lived in the constituency all my adult life. I'm not a career politician. I've had two careers actually. One as a television journalist and another running a small business. So I think I bring a, a different set of experiences to the table. And by the way, I happen to think that one of the biggest problems with British politics is that we have too many career politicians, people who've never had real life experience, people who've never had to employ people or be an employee or understand cash flow or understand any of the practical problems that we all face. Um, you know, having raised three kids in Westminster North, I've, you know, I've navigated the schooling system. I know what the local hospital services are like. I've been in A&E um, twice, um, waiting all night. Housing, all of those issues, they're very, very real to me. I've also served as a Westminster councillor for eight years. And I think what sets me apart from my opponent is that as a conservative um, 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 councillor, eight years service, I also have the ear of the leadership of Westminster City Hall. So when it comes to influencing policy or getting things done locally, they will work with me on this. And I found it uh, uh, absolutely the case as the candidate that, you know, I pick up the phone, the potholes, potholes get filled. 
people will come and the, and, the, and the council will respond to me, as will the leader of Westminster Council and all the, the major decision makers who run the cabinet. All right, that's great. Thank you very much. Um, if I go to General Vai, you are living there. Yeah. And um, you came here to support her. Sure, yes. A uh, local businessman, your community leader there. Yes. Why do you think um, Linz is right, uh, better than uh, Karen Bach? And people, uh, they select, elected her a couple of times, and she is fighting for third time, I believe. Yeah. And uh, Linz is obviously just uh, standing in front of her. <laughs> Why do you think she is the right person? Um, I've been living in North uh, since year 2009. Um, I'm um, working with, uh, with the council uh, because I have an, have an organization there, which is I am also a chair, and I'm working with, uh, alongside with the council for the community. <coughs> I met Lindsay um, uh, in one of our events, which was held in 2014. And uh, she was, uh, I was invited her to come to her. She uh, promptly replied, she says, Mohammed, I'm coming. And she came and she's really, really uh, friendly with the Bangladeshi community. And since then, actually, she is uh, working with me uh, for the Bangladeshi community, and uh, she knows um, the fact uh, in North Westminster, and she knows uh, that we are lacking uh, some services there. Although we have organisation there, but we are lacking in service because of uh, uh, funding issues are there. Uh, there are uh, lack of facilities there. She also aware of everything, and uh, and she is working along with us uh, for giving uh, a, um, or making a, a commitment that she will uh, work so with us. So she is helping with uh, all of the uh, social and, and and community activities. Community in activities as well as and and of course um, another thing. Um, Karen Bach, I, I respect her. She is uh, there for long. I know. She has been MP for eight or... Uh, but to be honest, it was conservative um, um, uh, since the creation of uh, yeah. 1964, actually. No, it's been... Then, um, uh, it was been Labour held since 1997. Yeah, since 1997 is Labour, It yeah. was a conservative seat up Yeah, it was. Then. It was. Um, so, I mean, you know, in the end, um, Count Buck has certainly been a very good local MP. I could never take that away from her. But there is no reason to think that I won't also be that great local MP. The difference between her and I is that she's going to represent the party which will take us back to chaos economically, where we will run out of money, and my party um, will be part of the, of the future huge success of the United Kingdom. So that's where we, we part company. That's fine. Um, so I'd like yeah. to point out something is that, uh, well, look, um, I've been there uh, seven years, and I haven't seen any changes there. And I think, I think our community needs to think about changes. Changes, I think we need to be changed. We, our, our opinion is to be changed, and we need to give somebody a chance to see whether or what they can do for us. Yeah. All I mean, right. One thing I'd quickly mm. like to add to that mm. is mm. that I, d I believe that, the, that we're facing a new era in politics, which is more creative politics, entrepreneurial politics Indeed. because the state cannot provide everything taxpayers simply cannot um, you know you it, it is ridiculous that you could take home more money than you could earn after you've paid tax I and mean, how that's not fair that principle is wrong so if we go to a place where people are keeping more of their money making more of their own choices about how they spend it um, we have to be realistic about the amount the state can do so I'm really excited about thinking differently outside the box. You know, we're here in Westminster, in the heart of the city, with some of the country's biggest, most powerful mm. organisations. Why not go for extra sponsorship for the Bangladeshi Community Centre? Go to Virgin Media, some of these big companies. Mm. And I'm really, really well placed, very well connected inside big business. And those are the connections that we need to, I believe, to and take... mobilise them too. To mobilise, you know, third sector involvement, thinking outside the box, because, as I say, the taxpayer just can't keep 
um, you know, producing everything to meet the expectation and demand. Okay. Uh, thank you, Lindsay. And if I come to Council Arctic, um, as you know, this is a very good classic example of marginal seat. Actually, she needs only 2,000 votes to defeat um, her um, competitor. It's, but yeah. but, but the, what I was asking is a very important thing. There are, I think, around 4,000 uh, Bengali people and, yeah. and quite lots of minority people uh, are living. Especially in London, is a very, very important issue now with these uh, minority people, how they are voting. Mm -hmm. and, and it's a very good example of her seat. She needs only 2,000 votes. So why, my question is why, uh, so it's a very large number of people, they're thinking mm -hmm. Conservative Party doesn't work for us. Why this distrust? I think and so, uh, yeah. I, what is the mechanism I, I, to build up this yeah. trust? Well, it's really nice to hear by journal by saying about Lindsay. I think Lindsay is well connected to the Asian people because it's Asian channel as well. I think Lindsay is showing the sign that she can mix with Asian people. Amdo zara noto zara aso in era sometime afna ra boot dawara ge afna person ne judge khodu ka zee judge khodiya deho ka i manchi amda khota hune ni journal bhai zada ga thamda Bangali aso ne zada ga koi ra zee Lindsay is well connected ar chesta khora amda Bangali loge kita khora ta afna ra onak shomoy boote onak faida khobo amla labour ne afna dita khora but I think we you know you should give the benefit of the doubt to Lindsay but you instead of judging the party sometime you need to judge the person. Who, who actually can, stood at that area? How much does she know? Time, as she, uh, as Lindsay has highlighted few things, as a mother, being a mother of three, she knows about the NA, uh, um, A and E as well as the housing issue, and that is a burning factor for a lot. And as a mother, I think she can, and it will benefit to our uh, Asian community as well that. You, sh you, you need to go and talk to her or you need to tell your problems that this is the problem. She, uh, wa wait for the reply. Then, then you, should, uh, you should vote for that person that at least they replied. A lot of people think, oh, conservatively, I'm not going to matun tonight. You can't never judge without going to their door, without asking. A lot of people, what I was saying, Lindsay, is a lot of people think, oh, they're not going to listen to us. Conservative is, you know. No, you can't. Conservative does listen. And I, for one, for instance, the area I'm from, it's only, only seven Bengali votes. Seven Bengali votes. And, uh, you know, it's 90, well, it's about 100% of English votes. They took me as a person. Of course they do. You know? That's and crazy. the Conservative Party were overwhelmed to, to see the result as well. Obviously, I created that because being Asian, I wanted to mix with uh, English people and my business ways as well is supported me and everybody voted for me. <coughs> so <coughs> the question is, before we narrow it down, oh, I'm not going to vote for an English person or I'm not going to vote an Asian person, then we are, we are obviously wrong because the Eng where English person has seen an Asian person, they didn't see an Asian person, they saw this person belongs to our community and he can do the work and they voted in a immensely and the lady uh, who const uh, you know, was with me as a Labour, she had about 500 votes less than me, mm. which is a small constituency, but alhamdulillah, you know, it was a, a, it was a huge success. All right, that's, that's, thank you. Uh, thanks, a, a very good story of uh, Mr. Atik. Actually, he became councillor and uh, they find a very good uh, success story there. Um, Lindsay, uh, as I said, you, you got a very good gentleman here, local businessman, and you are very well connected. Have you ever visited in Bangladesh? I would love to visit Bangladesh. Um, I'm very well travelled in Asia, but sadly never, never to Dhaka or never to, to your lovely country. So do you have any plan um, to go? Um, in I certainly would, and I would hope to do hope to do so. And I hope maybe uh, Mr. Janal here might lead a delegation with me in tow. Um, I actually did study at the School of Oriental and African Studies. Okay. Um, so I'm very well so travelled in China, mm. um, China in particular, and in um, India. Um, so. Bangladesh is next on my list. That's good. Um, that's, that, that's very good. Uh, well, as you said, um, obviously, quite large, well, around 4,000 people are living in your uh, constituency. It's quite, quite large, actually. And you don't need, that, you don't need that amount of vote, uh, less than that. And maybe I will ask you a little question about, obviously, Bangladeshi people. As you know here, there are two things very important, drinking tea, and they love to talk politics. 
and well, cricket. Oh yeah, obviously. <laughs> that, that, oh, well, well, that's yeah. a fantastic, uh, a very good, uh, very good result. You see, that's another yeah. thing I can do. Yeah, we, we, we just last <laughs> night I took um, well, Sajid uh, Javed, who is mm -hmm. the Secretary right, yeah. of State mm -hmm. um, for Media, Sports and Culture. I took mm -hmm. him along to Lords last night. Uh -huh. um, I've worked very closely with Lords Cricket Ground, mm -hmm. and I've enabled nets training for our local state schools Ooh. for all the kids to go up there to do it. So it's exactly the kind of interconnection that we need to be making in our communities. And I'm really, really excited at the thought of what I can do. I just need that chance. All right. Um, may I ask you one question? I know it's, it's, it's not a, obviously British politics. It's, it's, as you know, in Bangladesh, obviously in your area, quite a large number of people live in. Bangladesh is passing one of the above, a tough time, actually. Yes. There is political turmoil all are uh, fighting each other. What is your thoughts about in Bangladeshi uh, political situation right now? Well, obviously, um, it, it's, it's, it's not a political scene I completely understand. I can honestly tell you it's hard enough getting my head around the British political scene. But, mm -hmm. but, but from what I've learned, you know, the Bangladeshi people are very tolerant people. It's in your DNA. You share so much between you. So it's absolutely heartbreaking to see that conflict, um, and I, I know you. It's a major uh, three-two-three party. They are uh, just yes, uh, fighting each other. Yes, absolutely at each other's throat. And from what I've learned, it is about those the two leaders more than the people themselves. Would that be a fair assessment? Yes. Um, um, yeah, maybe maybe perhaps. they can tell you. They can give you the real. Uh, yes. Uh, um, so you so know, it's a personality end, clash. You you talking about a personality clash, and I mean in the end. You have to fight for democracy. For it's a people. fight. You know, our country, this great country of ours, you know, we are very evolved as a democracy. Mm -hmm. um, and, and there took a lot of sacrifice along the way. I mean, really, in terms of the female vote, we've only had the vote for 100 years. Um, and, 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 and it's a pretty good thing in, in Bangladesh. You see the prime minister um, actually from both major parties, they are female. Absolutely. So in one sense, they are... Um, well, you're very, uh, pretty um, forward then um, yep. here even, I can say, honestly. Uh, because, um, absolutely. You're just, very... Uh, here a woman voting right, I think it started 1928, isn't it? Absolutely. 1928. So 20 or 28, yeah. Yes. So, yes. And, uh, and, and it's pretty good. But what is your... Is there any, do you think there's a real concern there? It's quite lots of human rights issues are coming. It's coming from both parties, obviously. They said uh, who is doing who is... Uh, they blame each other. What is the real concern, do you think? Well, I think that um, sometimes politicians need to actually take a step back and keep a holistic view, which is what is your ultimate goal? Your ultimate goal has to be to do the right thing for your country um, and to live in peace and harmony and to enable the people to reach their great potential. Yeah, give them um, opportunity. And the other thing, I think that the advent of ISIS and, and the rise of this evil in our community is something in a way we should use it as a unifying um, element for the communities to all come together forget their petty differences try and keep that common goal and also always retain and I do think this is something I've noticed amongst the, the, the Bangladeshi community you're very tolerant and you're you have a joy of life and a joy of music and color and you celebrate mm. you know you yeah, know how to enjoy yourselves um, so, you know, I, I think leaders need to demonstrate that. They need to try and find a peaceful way. And uh, I really hope that it will resolve right. and that perhaps in time um, our country come. can help on a diplomatic level to find those solutions. Let's, uh, thank you very much, uh, Lindsay, for your uh, very diplomatic way of your opinion. And uh, hopefully if you become a... Uh, uh, representative for the people of Westminster North and he can help us to solve the issues in back home. Well, um, one thing, again, uh, I would like to talk about a little bit minority votes. It's, it's very much important, as I mentioned earlier, and, um, and it's a very good thing, uh, obviously, for her constituency. She needs only 2,000 votes. There is lots of uh, talk is coming in, obviously, as you know, mayoral election, obviously, 2016. Labour Party, Conservative Party, they are throwing their candidates and, and lots of things. So is it the right time came, uh, came actually, the minority candidate can run for London Mayor? Well, um, uh, do you want my personal opinion? Or, yeah. you know, I yeah. think a minority will find it very hard. To, uh, you know, and I mean, I mean, the minority has only a I think it would be very difficult. And, um, 
for a minority person to take on this um, such a big job, mm. he obviously needs to be under an umbrella. That's what I would think. Because say, for instance, um, even if he did win, uh, what what will he what will he be really doing? And I but think when it comes to mayor, are we talking about London mayor or are we talking London, about Tahmud? No, no, I'm not you talking know, because about we have uh, Boris Johnson. Boris is always Boris is living. Because yeah. why I ask this question is minority votes became really matter now, mm. as you see. Not only you see it. I know in London, maybe another 10, 10 15 is very marginal seat. There are very big issues. Just some people are maybe hundred, couple of hundred, three, four hundred votes even. Yeah. So. I, per, I personally, I personally, play minority, a big role there. So. Yeah, minority can play, role, but I think Boris Johnson. I think he's doing a good job. Also. No, obviously no, not. I'm not going. Obviously, we don't have that sufficient time. Yeah. Is it the right time came as as a Labour candidate? Uh, that is speculation. Maybe was that Lebanon? Lebanon? Uh, David Lemmy and other uh, Tooting MP was that yeah, Lebanon? Sadiq Khan. Sadiq Khan. They are uh, planning to give him opportunity. So what 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 is your opinion with this? Uh, your party line and something. I think um, everybody has the right as a, uh, as a candidate. That's no qualm about All that. Right. But I think um, uh, you have to um, understand the fact what Boris Johnson, has he gone wrong anywhere? No, for no, no, him, no, that's for fine. You that's to, for you to have that opportunity. All right, that's fine. Yeah. Lindsay, if you are I, I would like to say that I, I think that the world is your oyster. I think it's time. I think we, you know, we've moved to a point, and I would love to see Attico stand for Mayor of London <laughs> um, and have hundreds of people vote for him, as they did in, in Salisbury, uh, in their hundreds. And um, he's an he's a absolute shining example of what you can become uh, with good conservative values and a good work ethic. You know what? The world's your oyster. That's fine. Fantastic. We've got, again, time constraint. I will ask you 30-second question, answer, three of you. We've got one minute to go. What is your opinion about Lindsay Hall and your Westminster North? Uh, my one sentence, if you my can, it will be appreciated. Is, um, the Lindsay has a more stronger voice. Uh, she is uh, very well connected uh, within our community, and she knows our concern. And uh, I think I request all our uh, community members to uh, give her a chance. That's fine. What do you mean? If you say, <coughs> excuse me, um, if you say one sentence, then I think uh, Lindsay understands Bangladeshi community very well by talking to her. All right, Lindsay, only three words, uh, one sentence. What is the burning issues in your area? Three, three things that you will tackle. I will fight hard for housing. Housing. Um, crime, reduction, fear of crime. All That's right. a priority. Crime. Mm -hmm. And making sure work pays, helping with the welfare reforms that are fair and good, but are always with um, the best interests of people at, at heart. And especially, what is the uh, source of promise? I can say source of, uh, uh, of promise My for promise, the people. If of you want three words biology. about why vote for me, um, I will pledge to act with passion, with integrity, and always with fairness. That's fine. Very fantastic word. Fairness is very important word. Thank you very much, Joan Alvai, Lindsay Hall, Councillor Atik. Uh, we don't have sufficient time, actually. We love to discuss quite a lot. After uh, our Shonge Thakben, next program, our Ahmed Bhai Ran Kuben, and after our Shonle, our Gesdir Kastake. But end is your decision. Who will run your country? Who will uh, live your life next four or five years? So it is the right time came to choose the right leader and right party, right candidate for your people. Thank you. After our mother, Shonge Thakman for next program. Asalaamu Alaikum.